Good morning everybody and welcome to Hunky Dory TV on what is a little special that we're doing uh, where we're just going to sit down and have a bit of a chat, we are. aren't we? Yeah. And what a year we have had Sheila on Hunky Dory TV. Oh my goodness, haven't we packed so much in? We've packed bucket loads Honestly, in, it's been lots we of fun. We have, we have just you know, gone from one extreme to the other and we've packed so many products in, so many great deals, so many beautiful collections, so many fabulous demos. I think it's just been, it's been really good, hasn't it's it? It's been brilliant. Yeah. And show types. I don't know how many, we should have checked actually how many, how many actual shows we've done, but at three a week, that'd be 150. So, yes. for, you yeah. know, maybe 200 shows. I don't know. Yeah, probably. It's been so many and different types as well. So yes. um, Trolley Dash. Yes. It's been fab. We've yes. had a lot of fun we've with Trolley loved Dash. Trolley Dash. We brought a trolley. We actually bought a trolley. Yes. And spray painted a trolley. You took it round the back of the warehouse, didn't you? In a big cardboard box, three or four cans of spray paint. Next time it came out, it was like, oh my goodness. It's look brilliant. At this. And it, we have to top it up every now and then <laughs> yeah, as well because we it started the, the green. It was green originally, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. And the green starts to come through a bit yeah, by bit. Yeah. And the wheel, the wheels refuse to move anymore. That's right. Yeah, we have to carry it. We can't push it. The <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to start moving again, those wheels. I know, yeah. um, it, Trolley Dash is back next yeah, year. Yeah, it is, really yeah. Exciting. We need to get running around again, don't we? Up and no, down the absolutely. aisles, filling it. So. Which is fun. Yeah. We've done, what have we done? We've done the roundup. Yes, we have. First roundup, I think, was, um, oh, was it July, I think. I was going to say, it was July summertime, was the first wasn't it? Roundup, yeah. yeah. Um, and that was crazy. That was, I, I know, I think one of Natalie's favourite moments was was on the roundup. I think it was brilliant. Yes, I think so. Because people, I know that the um, warehouse team, the pickers and the packers and the, you know, the assembly people were looking through the windows. They don't know what's going on. They don't know. They just see us keep disappearing into this room, sometimes disguised, sometimes, you know, like this. <laughs> um, but that was funny because you both came in dressed as was, like cowboys. It and It was very funny. And another one that actually was my favorite moment of the year i think or favorite little section of a show of the year was one that you and i did on halloween oh, yes. do you remember when we when we drew each other it was emily came up with it, it was brilliant. we drew each other as on pumpkin on pumpkins. so emily came up with this idea and she said okay well let's um uh, let's draw on a pumpkin and yeah. we'll see who can do the best picture best face or whatever on a pumpkin I thought, yeah okay that's fun that sounds like a and then she came up last minute. It was, no, you've got to draw each other. <laughs> yes, and it was brilliant. I'm hoping that they've got a clip that they can show us. Yeah, that was, was so funny. That was very funny because we ended up looking nothing like what we actually looked like. Well, I hope anyway. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a true likeness because they were a bit scary, weren't they? But the, hilariously funny. What a great game to play, um, you know, especially brilliant. with family and kids. I've and watched that show back a couple of times <laughs> since, actually, because I remember you. It starts out with you with your bat wings <laughs> like this. That's right. And they were made out of an umbrella. Yeah, an umbrella. But you had, you still, you still had all the, all the, all the sp spines. What, what's yeah, the word? The, spoke the, um, the spokes of the umbrella. Yeah. And every time you did that, like, you had to be careful that you didn't, didn't like, I didn't like actually, focus. Yeah, yeah, because I sat the night before stitching it on and. Um, and I kept thinking, if I put my arms down, I'm going to kind of, you know, rupture my skin seriously. You know? uh, so, yeah, it was funny. I was just talking to Natalie about it, actually saying I need to tidy up my craft room and I need to move my dress because it's still hanging up on the cupboard door really? where, uh, where I hung dress. it when I got in on Halloween. So It's amazing. Yeah. Well, you made this hat. The yes, hat I did. It was an emergency you Santa hat last year, yeah. So when, when Santa, because Santa comes to visit, doesn't he? He does, yeah. Um, he does. Which is wonderful. And, uh, and yeah, we could find the whole Santa, Santa outfit. Yeah. But we couldn't find there the hat no anywhere. Hat. There was no hat. And we were looking frantically everywhere. We found a bit of red felt, a bit of white, and there was a bit of kind of stuffing that that we used <laughs> for something out of a cushion, I think. <laughs> so, again, it was a quick, let's just run up a hat before but Facebook I, Live. I think it was amazing. And, and it's still, it's survived. It's still, it's, it's survived. survived. It's, not, it's not a great hat because if you don't bend it's it over, it's very high. <laughs> yeah, we've dealt with just a little... Bubble on top. It is. It's more like a Busby, really. It's but brilliant. yeah, it, we we do all kinds of things here, don't we? Don't we? Um, I've got some questions. <laughs> okay. Emily's, Emily's very kindly given us some questions. Okay. Um, so she said, "Let's take a look at our best moments through 2020. It's okay. been a blast. It has. And it has been a blast. It has. What was your favourite promotion of the year? Right. So if I was to give you a couple of promotions that we've done, because we've had a couple of members weeks that were yes. brilliant. Yes. Um, she says, been a blast. We had um, Dynamite Deals. We did. That was we good. We did. Dynamite we Deals had is good. 12th anniversary. Yes. 
which yes, is amazing, not yes, to form. Definitely. Um, I think my favourite was the, there was an eighty thousand Facebook say, Lives. I was going to say we had the eighty thousand Facebook Lives, which was which was great. That ran all week, didn't it? And, and that's that was amazing. Pretty good, yeah. We had cardboard cake and everything. We it did. Was amazing. <laughs> we did because yeah. obviously it's been the year of coronavirus so it's not been yeah, easy exactly i mean we've always had um treats here haven't we every yeah. week we, whether it's pizza whether it's donuts whether it's cheese and crackers all that's had to be abandoned because obviously we're all spacing out we can't touch each other's cups and things like that so we've had to have like cardboard food and stuff haven't yeah, we? Yeah, cardboard, yeah, yeah. you know we've not been able to have treats as such so it's uh but again you can it, it just shows the beauty of craft and the beauty of adorable scorable in this instant because you can Very true. craft a cake and it's still on the desk there it's stood up solid as a rock Ace, isn't it? Uh, yeah so uh, again you know uh, that's a little uh advantage of well a big advantage of adorable scorable one of our most uh amazing products and I, th I think that's got to be one of my favorite things this year has been the things you've done with adorable scorable because you've you've had a lot of fun constructing with adorable scorable. yeah i haven't I, and i do you at make home, a lot actually. of cool i do love using adorable scorable it's you know it's so trustworthy it's a trustworthy card you can you know you can physically make anything out of it i firmly believe that you can and, you know in my opinion you can so yeah we've we've done some some crazy things, and we've done a few on that on our um, Facebook lives as well. Haven't we we? We've have. made a few wacky and things. I don't think we could mention Adorable Scoreable without mentioning the Adorable Score Scoreboard Challenge. Oh, of course, yeah, I knew I knew that was coming. And when Emily asked us about our favourite moments, I thought, do I put this in? And then how can I put it? Do I put? Yeah, we really loved this deep down. Um, I did love it. But deep down, you're you slightly <laughs> devastated. <laughs> But no, it was fun. That it was, was fun. We've had some, some. Uh, you know, it's been a difficult year, like you said, but we've managed to keep um, positive and keep everything going, you know, on camera to just cheer people up. I loved it because that ended up really being a battle between you and me in the end. Yeah, it, it did. It, it was. did. It's a and, friendly battle and in the was, end. And um, it was quite fun because fun. like half the people were, were sort of <laughs> team down and half the people were team Sheila. And, and there'd be people saying on the comments like, Dan cheated. And other people, Dan did not cheat. How dare you say yeah, that? Uh, yeah. It was really funny. Yeah, so we all had to kind of go with you because, um, because you're in charge. <laughs> Emily probably <laughs> like slowed down the time or something like that, so that's the only reason I went. I don't know. We all know that it would be you that it won. It was very if funny. It, it was good fun. Black Friday. Oh no! Three weeks. I know of Black Friday deals. I know fantastic uh, deals and and great shows as well, and so many things were were selling out so quick. It's crazy. Um, you know, and it's it's great in in a year that we've had. Um, awful things happening craft has kind of um i think it's just boomed hasn't it in, i think so as well in, i don't know if it's just in the country or across the world but people have been sat and if we've been able to bring them great deals you know we were conscious that people weren't working so we've been able to kind of go okay well let's not this down Absolutely. let's give people some good deals so they, they can afford um to grab some great products you know uh, when you probably need them at a time when people started crafting so i think that's been really good as well i think we've catered for everyone under difficult circumstances and people have um enjoyed that they've appreciated it and i think we've probably introduced a lot of crafting to a, a lot of people who may have always wanted to do it but i've never had the option Absolutely. or the money or the confidence and it's yeah. kind of boosted our craft industry well that's if you think about the technique tuesday shows that you're doing that's sort of educating people as well isn't yeah, it? you yeah. did a, a glimmer miss one just just the other just, day as yeah well. just on tuesday yeah and you know it's it's funny because it, it we've done them very informally we've mm. not done them you know like a in a strict fashion so we've said you could do this and you could do this and then we've drifted off and gone you know what let's try this i've never done it this way so we've kind of learned as well ourselves yeah. and i think it's just been really um, it's been a really good thing. I know we've only done three of them so far, but they've been very successful. We've had good comments. I'm 100% um, sure that they're you know, going to so become a regular year, throughout the year next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, so definitely I think we're hoping for one a month, for aren't we, for next yeah, year? Yeah, hopefully, I think that'd be yeah, brilliant. yeah. And I think it's really creative, and that's the point, is it is so creative. And, and as you're going through it, what you're doing changes, and that's what happens yeah. when you craft as well. It sort of evolves, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And I think, um, you know, through years of crafting, things do 
come around, go around, mm -hmm. and things go out of fashion for a bit, and then they come back. So things like waterfall cards, you know, little odd shaped cards that we used to do a long time ago on the old scoreboards that we can now bring and do on a newer scoreboard. Yeah. Um, you know, with different types of card, and it's just. We're, we're all kind of learning as well as enjoying the craft that we've it's enjoyed true. for years, yeah. We launched um, Stitch It this yes, year, yeah. which is basically uh, embroidery and thread and so on, and yeah. wool we'll, with cards. Yeah. Well, that's 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 old school, you know. If you if you, I know it's doing it with dyes now is slightly yeah. different, and the way that Stacey's done it is kind of different, yeah. but. But there was something called I think it was it's either Ornare or Ornare, um, uh, which was a card embroidery. Yes. And you'd like doing card, doing embroidery on cards, and you used to yeah. get, and you'd have to prick your own holes, you see, your holes yourself, and then yeah. you'd, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's, and that really, if you think about it, around. it does. That's a thing that we learn in school and nursery where we're given a card with a picture on a big chunky needle and a big like shoelace yes. and that's how you learn threading and doing your own shoelace and stuff so it goes from from a, a very young age right through to being a very experienced crafter and like you say combining a paper craft with fabric with soft crafts yeah. and uh, kind of mixing it all up so there's no kind of limits with any of it really i agree with you i think oh. so and i think that this next year i think it'll happen more yeah and i think with mixed media sort of uh, coming into the marketplace so much more and becoming yes. so much more popular the more things that you're bringing in and bringing together the better it is and the more the more enjoyable it is the more oh, fun it is definitely definitely and, it, and it's not kind of set to one age no. You can adapt it and, you know, everyone can do it, male, female, you know, um, anybody can do it yeah. and that's the good thing about craft. So we talk about Stitch It, it's one of the launches yeah. that we had, yeah. but um, there were, I think, I haven't done it again, I should have done the numbers, <laughs> shouldn't I? Um, I think there were about 70 lines launched this year or collections launched yeah. um, of one way or another, yeah. which is massive. I mean, that's it's a, it's an incredible number. It's huge about, because when you say a launch, it's not just like... Um, like a pokey tool, is it? No. Or a, you know, a paint pot or a, a new brush. It's a whole it's, collection. It's a whole collection. Yeah. So we go right through with parchment and everyone's a different design. Um, you know, we have a dye included. We do stamps. So it's not, it, it could probably run up to really, even though it's one launch of, of one collection, there could be probably, oh, probably 50 or, or, or more yeah, uh, products. Yeah in that one little collection you know when Absolutely. you think about it so it's it's a lot of products isn't it that goes that we we get through in a year so here's the big question okay. what of those let's say thousand individual products that we launched or 70 launches yeah which was which one got the biggest Sheila Halliwell Sh Sheila Halliwell Sheila Halliwell seal <laughs> of <laughs> easy for you to say Sheila it? Halliwell seal of it. approval um, Which one? What was your, what was your Well, your do you favorite? know what? Collection-wise, I absolutely adored Winter Forest. Mm. And I know that you did as well. I know that mm. you loved the artwork on Winter Forest. Um, and I know that it was the same artist, wasn't it, that did uh, the Bohemian Bliss. It was. Um, so that even though they're quite contrasty, I really loved those two. I think they were my favorite. Probably Winter Forest topped it for me. Yeah. Um, but all, I always adore a new batch of adorable scorable yes especially when it's got patterns on and there's been so we've done that because we've yeah. we've launched two of the new sets of pattern packs yes and the first one had um was it the, ab the abstract ombres in that yes. was gorgeous yes yeah that was really quite yeah, well. Yeah, with the denim and, and uh, the paper denim, and wood. which I think was your favourite. Was it the denim? Yeah, I love the denim. Denim, and I love the paper and wood as paper well. Paper and wood was amazing. Yeah. And then we've had the second lot. Yeah. Now, we're, and there's some gorgeous designs in there. Now yes. we've already seen the third lot, haven't yes. we? Yes. Yes. Um, in fact, through there, there is a wall. It's it's a we we have. Um, uh, magnetic walls. Magnetic board, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the whole like wall is magnetic, it and is. they go on for meters and meters and meters. Don't yeah, they? definitely. And out there, we've got a full one set up, which is the we new have. six we for have. launching. I think it's March. You know? Yeah, yeah, and it'll be here before we know it. It won't it just? Yeah, it will. Once we get you know past Christmas, it'll be like it'll be coming around again. Oh, we'll oh, be it's doing amazing. Spring and summer products, and then we'll be round to Christmas again before long. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah. So Sheila, what was your favourite moment? So if, my, if mine was the um, you and I doing the, uh, the the pumpkins, which was amazing, do yeah. you have a, a, an individual favourite moment? Do you know what? We've had so many moments. And when I actually went on to the Hunky Dory Hub, um, clicked onto the Hub and saw the, you know, all the tutorials and the videos, everything that we've done, and I, I started to replay some of our shows. There were so many. There were 13 pages of shows and there's probably wow. nine or 12 on a page and I thought yeah, yeah. this is going to take me a, a week or something to go through this. So I clicked on a few things 
and then I thought, you know what? I don't know if it was a moment. There was a question we had. We always have the obviously winning weekly competition yes. questions every Monday. Um, and the question we had, it might have been last week or the week before, about the um, how long is the ninety mile beach in New Zealand? <laughs> I love that. I love. I, I loved it. I, I am still puzzled about that. I, I, I said to you, didn't I, live <laughs> on the show, I'm going to think about this strategically. Yes. Um, and say, I, I can't give an answer, but I'm wondering if it varies when the tide is in. Is oh, the tide is in. <laughs> And I know that we, we that was not strategic at all. That was just plain <laughs> stupid, wasn't it? Excuse me. Because <laughs> what? Sorry. I adored it because I just thought, I just thought of this, said, this oh, 90, yeah. mile, 90 miles out and the tide comes in 90 miles and goes out 90 <laughs> miles. I, I can remember And I just name. thought, it's brilliant, Sheila. It's absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, said, oh, I see. <laughs> so you're actually thinking of it that way. <laughs> So <laughs> well, it was on for five minutes because even Alan was producing at the time, and uh, it was just so it was just things like that. And I think that I just you and I have had quite a few low. Oh, like those that, questions! Where... You know, it's amazing what you actually learn yes. from those when it weekly competition questions. Yes. Um, you know, and I know that now we can go into Google and just like find out. But sometimes just sitting thinking about it. It, Gets your mind going, and you say, oh, I, you know, I don't know the answer to this. So I think over the year, we have learnt an awful lot, we aside have. of craft, just in general knowledge, um, you know, with the, with Emily's questions and, you know, whoever's been producing this set, these crazy questions, um, but they've all been really intelligent questions and they've really made us think. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was one of, it wasn't necessarily a moment, but I, I really enjoyed the the laughter that we had on yes. that show, I thought it was and really we'll, I think we, you and I have had quite a few times where <laughs> where we've had five minutes where really not much crafting has been done because yeah. it's just been We have balmy. been laughing. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it it's has. Very good. It has. It's been, it's been great fun. <laughs> okay, well, and I think I'm massively excited about 2021. We've yeah. Got, um, we've got so much to come. Yeah. Haven't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, and hopefully next year will be better than this year in the in the uh, you know with the covid situation yes. we've we've gone through um an you know an amazingly difficult year for for everyone on the planet i think uh, but i think it has shifted the way we we look at things and the way we are with things and i think it's you know i'd love to know how many people in the entire world have actually begun crafting since covid kicked in mm. Because I'm that's, sure it's a massive number. Oh my goodness! So many people must have well, decided we get to craft it. every week. When on on let's say the the Facebook feed or the YouTube feed, someone will say, "Oh, I've just found you," or "It's the first yes. time I found you today." Yeah, yeah. Anne Marie was demonstrated on Black Friday, yes. and someone said, "Oh, this lady is um, is fantastic, and yes. she's just doing making it up off the top of the head. I've never seen this before." Yeah. And I thought the way she said this lady, she doesn't know who Anne Marie is. No. So of and not. she said, "I've never seen this before." So she's just coming across. So people it. are just coming across it. Yeah, definitely, and it's and amazing. It's so what exciting. It is, definitely. And I think, you know, a lot of people have, have wanted to craft, but when I was at school, there wasn't the, um, I mean, there weren't the products for start off, but there wasn't the encouragement. Um, okay. You know, because I'm, I'm, I'm older, a lot of people were kind of, to, oh, no, you can't do that. No, you must, no, we don't it's do that. It's not a career. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And now we're so lucky in the, in the craft industry that we can do this for yeah. a job. Um, you know, and if we just inspire one person a week, you know, with something we make or a product we show, then we've kind of done our job. And I think it's lovely how everyone has interacted with us yeah. and our viewers have kind of, you know, uh, totally appreciated us being here because we're, we're like friends for the people who've not been able to go out, not been able to see their families. A lot of people said, well, you've kept me sane through this whole year. It's so true. we've kind of done and, more than our and job, really. kept us sane as yeah, well. Yeah, because they've joined true. us. Because if they don't join us, then we are here on no. our own, you know, just talking to a camera. So it's um, more, I think one of the it's, nicest it's things is, is the, the um, uh, for us anyway, is the comments from the viewers and the yeah. interaction um, with the viewers has been has made for a lot of fun. Definitely. Yeah, because yeah, if, if we came in here and there were no people watching, what, we would just be, what would we be doing? Can I be honest, <laughs> Sheila? <laughs> we'd, we'd still come in and do it. We probably would. <laughs> Probably what? Right, Sheila, that's fantastic. I think we're going to get Natalie in as well. So let's chat with Nat. Um, Natalie, how are you doing? All right. Yeah. Excellent. Can I just point out? I what? adore these. They're fantastic. This is one of the many. 
So well, I, I saw one. I saw one last week. Last week was uh, ho, ho, yeah, ho, ho Ho Ho, which yeah. is cool. How many of these have you got? At the moment, I've got three, but there are a couple that are in my eye. Like I'm, I'm going to probably see, you've get. seen them, and yeah. you're going to yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh well, I like them. Oh, they're a lot of fun. So what are they? The reindeers. Reindeers. Do they have names? No, we can give them names. We, we, by the end of it, maybe we will have done. We can give them names. <laughs> So we have had an amazing year on Hunky Dory TV, haven't we? What a lot of fun we've it's had. It's been so much fun. It's been brilliant. Um, so big question, what was your favourite moment of the year? My absolute favourite moment ever. Go on. Was the first roundup we did. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't think anyone was expecting it. So I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the bit where, where we went, um, where I introduced Natalie, Badmouth Muspratt. Yep. And the camera flicked to you. Yep. And my face was just still. And I was just like... <laughs> what have they made me do? <laughs> with my moustache, which was the best thing ever. But the secret thing is we, we absolutely adored that show, didn't we? I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. It was brilliant. I think it's just fun to be able to just like take the mick of yourself a little bit. Yes. Um, but yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting our costumes. No. People were definitely not expecting my moustache. No, so very it true. So it was just the funnest thing and there was there was some um pretend horse riding going on yeah. and there was all sorts it in that one it so was brilliant funny. and you got freed because I we came up with the freed. idea that it was the kingdom of freedom and of freedom. um yeah and the only way that you could get out was by i mean some days i think i should have definitely stayed in there <laughs> however it was nice to actually was nice this to year out. yes you'd have probably been you know you could have um hidden away from from everything, from everything. that went on this year yeah. yeah for six months which would have been cool just stayed in the stayed in the uh the old jail. It was a lot of fun. So that was July. Yeah. And I think we've only done, have we done two or three roundups? We've done two. We've only done two, two. roundups, yeah. Um, there will be more roundup next year, I'm definitely. sure. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. More roundups. More roundups. More moustaches. More moustaches. Yeah. Definitely. You did a card on, I can't remember which, I can't remember which show it was, because I was looking through, um, Emily said, take a look through, see what your favourite demonstration was, and so on and so forth. And I was looking through, and one of the cards you did was on on the same show that has my favourite demo on it. Okay. Was a um, mus mustachios gracias, I think oh, it is. Oh yes, which yeah, is very from good. The, uh, Papa uh, no, from the no, from the little, it was from the little, little book, books, I yeah. think. From the little books, it has a little man on the little book of thank yous. A little bit of thank, thank you, yeah. right? Well, that that show oh, actually that. had my favourite demonstration on did it, it of what the was whole it? year. Um, it was it, and it was I, demonstration is really really. Um, for me, it's tricky because I, so Emily asked us to, you know, what's, what was your favourite demo? Because often I'm on that side of the, of the, um, yeah, of the when counter. You're, when you're doing the presenting, you tend to be engaging with the audience more at that time, don't you? And seeing what people are commenting. Absolutely and right. Like that. Absolutely right. So, uh, or talking with Emily or, you know, whatever yeah. we're, we're doing, getting ready often for the next product and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you don't, I don't always get as much chance to watch the demos as, uh, as I'd like to. But there was a demonstration that you did on that show that had, um, it was, I think it was the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, yeah. And you, you cut them out. You, yeah, so, and it was, I think it was, it was the, um, the, A, that you did the fussy cutting with it, and it was a lot of fun. It lo looked lovely. Yeah. It was really effective. But it was the fact that it was like 10 and a half P, I think it was, that that, that, that to cost. Make the card. To make that. Yeah. It was like, and it was, it, it just made me think about how, um, how inclusive that is and, and accessible yeah, for people. For everyone, isn't it? And I just thought it was a great demonstration, a great way to show because there's so many little books out there. People, so people many. bought. We, uh, you know, I don't know how many tens of thousands it is, but there are so no. many little books. I think I remember that one as well because it wasn't um, the the page was a six. Yes. And it had nice borders on, so we cut the borders away, and then we used the borders for the background yes. and brought in some adorable scoreable. So, yeah, I remember that because it was it was really it was fun. And it showed you a different way of using your little books. Which is the whole yeah, logic, it really yeah. Good. Yeah, it was good. Aww. My other favourite demo, um, it was really tricky because when you've got to pick a favourite demo, yeah, you, you're like, oh, do I pick one of Natalie's, do I pick one of Sheila's, do I pick one of Anne-Marie's, you know, but so you just got to look at the card making if that makes sense, yeah. yeah? And the other favourite demo for me was a, um, it was a personal one, and this is not blowing my own trumpet in any way, shape, or form. It was not one of the best demos, for sure. It was the funnest. But it was the first demo. No, it was the first demo that I ever did. Because I, I, I did, Alan and I had a show a, where we did it. It is a big thing though, isn't it? It's it was a massive remember. thing. And um, I remember not really sleeping the night before that no. show because I was so nervous and so yeah. worried about doing it. Um, and, you know, I, it just, I, it makes me realise how, how, um, how tricky it is. I don't know, but how, how talented 
the people who do our demonstrations, you, yourself, yeah. Sheila, uh, Anne-Marie, uh, Rachel, just uh, how talented you are to it's be able to of, do that. Yeah, I think it's cramming it all into the time that you've got because you have to do it super, super quick. Yeah. Um, that takes a lot of time. And also trying to do something that's different but something that you can you can squeeze into that that short space of time because sometimes you can't you want to do everything you want to yeah, yeah. do things that could take you like three hours but the, but but you the can't time's not you there have like ten minutes no so yeah it's um it's a good skill to have but I, yeah I well, remember your, your demonstration is amazing Thanks. um I can say that wholeheartedly I think it's fantastic you're you're so and I've watched you grow through this year. Um, as a demonstrator like you wouldn't believe so uh, you where where at the start of the year you were much more nervous and probably much more like I was when I did my first demos yeah um but you you were much more nervous and um and there would be if if you made a mistake you wouldn't be able to roll with it a, no. as much whereas like, now oh, no I've done yeah. that wrong whereas now um you've it sounds crazy saying that you've you've like um you know but you you can if you make a mistake, it's part of what you do now. Yeah, it's part of what it, part of your card, part of your yeah, it's brilliant. It's it's a big thing in crafting, you know. Not everyone's perfect. No. You don't make the perfect card every single time. No. And there is a lot of times in crafting where you try something out and you're like, Oh, it's not worked. But you you move on from that and you work with what you've got and you make it into something different. And I think sometimes it's nice to to show that side of us too because Correct. everyone is that crazy it's, mad crafter with loads of ideas and it, sometimes it doesn't work it's but true yeah work absolutely it. but it's it's true it's like that instagram piece isn't it where where people are uh, all, all they see is the instagram filter of how of, of the perfection of how mm -hmm. it's absolutely you know and I, they look up and you sit there and think oh i don't look anything like that no. and it's the same you can see it with with cards with the cards that get the photographs taken of them mm -hmm. and everything you know a, a, a look absolute picture perfect but life isn't always like that and sometimes yeah. things don't go quite to me and, no. I, and i love that 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 if that happens for you now you just roll through it and and you change you, you've got the ability to change what you're doing as you as you go along as well i think it's really um, yeah i think everyone knows now as well just how crazy i am and i think get i think people get into know I, I think, my I think they can they can tell by the headband of course my personality and my sort of ambition to try new things i think that I'm more comfortable with making those mistakes in trying to be that ambitious with what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. So we've got um, new shows next we year do. that we're that we're looking at doing. Uh, one of them is Crafty Chat with Nat. It is. So I've told people now, so we have to do it. We will do it. Uh, we will do it, which is exciting. And I heard a rumour that, so I've got my, my cup here, um, which is, I got from uh, Disneyland actually. Yes, um, it's a good cup. It's that. a really good cup. But I've heard a rumour that you've got, you've got your own cups <laughs> coming. Yeah. I, I'm going to make my own cups. Are you going to be like full on Lorraine Crafty Kelly? Chat with <laughs> Crafty chat with that cups. Um, but no, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a different style of show to what we do. Um, it's going to be a bit more sort of relaxed like this, getting to know sort of the crafters that we have here, the people that we have in the business, what they do. And who knows, maybe we'll get some outside crafters in. I think that would be great. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be super cool. Yeah, and we can bring in, yeah, because we have... We're lucky we've got a lot of friends in the crafting industry. We've got you know, lots so, and lots of friends. Yeah, yeah. so all the, the, the demonstrators and it's a big it's a strange world is the craft world because there's it nothing is. else quite like it where you have people who are what you class as competitors. Yeah. But they they buy and sell each other's products yeah. as well. And um, you know, so we we've got friends and that we, we and you we regularly, all talk to them on you the regularly chat to them as well, yes. don't you? Yeah, yeah. so and this people is, wouldn't imagine that they wouldn't that imagine goes that. on. No. But yeah, regular, regular chatters. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's really, but it's good. It's a good thing because I think you know the whole anything that brings craft together and helps to craft to to, to rise and so. to it's all a positive thing. I think thing. so, and I think this year as well, it's been so important for people mm. um, to craft and to do something that helps you um, like mentally to just relax and take that time out and focus on you. I think this year and with what everything that's happened, it's been a really important important thing i think so as well i think so as well <laughs> so um Anne marie will be back next year yeah um I'm she will so uh, you are excited aren't you i know yeah. i know you miss your firm friends you and Anne marie so i know, I know. You, you you miss her like mad but um 
So yeah, about six months into the year, I think something like six that. Six months. Maybe she's maybe, back. maybe eight eight months into the year. Maybe. I keep reducing the number of I know, months you that did, it is. I texted her the other day and said, "It's okay, you're back in eight months." Or I think I said, "Yeah, eight months," and she said, "Actually, it's 12. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think she's back in September. But the yeah. joy the joy of uh, of it is that she's coming and spending. Uh, it's like keeping touch days, they call them. Yeah. Um, so we she's coming and spending a morning, and when she's doing it, she said, "Look, I'll, I'll do Honky Dory TV mm-hmm. um, while while I do it." I think, which I think is super, um, because people get to see her, and because she's very talented as well, isn't she? She is. I think, I think everyone here is super talented. I've, like you said, you've been able to see my development in the last year. I think I've massively learned so much from both of Amory and Sheila in how to do the best at what how to be the best that I can be but also using things that both of them do I've learned a lot from from them certainly well, Sheila's a very talented crafter they she's are. she's been crafting for quite a while hasn't she yeah. and she's and she's incredibly good at it she's so she's so talented there's some things that she does and you just like wow where did it come from where yeah, yeah, yeah. where where how did you even how did you even think of of doing that so I definitely think my crazy side of crafting comes from sitting across from Sheila and sort of seeing what she does on a daily basis and how she uses things that you wouldn't necessarily put together to make um, quite incredible, quite incredible projects. Absolutely. Okay, so question for you. Yeah. Natalie, what is your favourite product? My favourite product of this year. So we've launched, we, Sheila and I were talking about it before, and we said that we've, we've had 50, no, seven, about 70 product launches, mm-hmm. but that's like a whole collection. So there's been over a thousand products have launched this year. It's crazy. It's an amazing amount. Um, either individual product or collection is totally yeah. up to you. I've got a collection that I absolutely love, and it has to be Stitch It for me. Really? Yeah. Really? Now, so that's designed by um, Stacey uh, uh, Algamry, yep. who, who is, who's been on with us yep, she um, has. She's and done is some a star. Shows this year. She's done some um, shows and she's, um, she's very talented. She's incredibly talented. Her, the way she, some of the things that she's done in the past couple of years, like the, the pop-up cards, yes. that was just amazing to think that, that she designed that on a computer for it to then come and work the way that it did so perfectly. It's just like, how how does she think of that? But no, Stitch It For Me is the best product of this year. I think it was so much fun. It was something that I was kind of into at the time anyway, with like embroidery and cross stitch. And that was something I was doing at home. So to be able to do that, um, but be able to bring in the paper craft side of it and build that up on cards, make it, gifts with it. Um, I think it's a really nice idea. And I don't think we do that a lot where we cross over really big kind of crafts like that. Mm. Um, so it was really, it was really good to see, and everyone loved it as well. Yes, definitely. Well, everyone it's sold out it. on Creating Craft. Yeah. Um, straight away, we gave them the extra stock that we could give them that hadn't already been allocated to to other customers and so on, um, and that sold out. Yeah. And then it sold out for us. Yeah. And you just couldn't get it. It no. was like um, it was hen's teeth, gold really, dust. wasn't it? Yeah. Same as the plan- oops, sorry. Same as the Pansettia kit yeah, this year. Yeah, that was very pretty, wasn't it? Well, that's the kit that that, that I chose for my first ever demonstration. So it was. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's quite special for me that one. It was that was really pretty. beautiful kit and just disappeared. Yeah. But my favourite kit of the year was um, "Twas the Night Before Christmas," the Miri Magic one. Edition. Yeah, and there's there's reason behind it. So I think that artwork, that Marcello Corti artwork, it's your is, favourite anyway. It's my favourite. You know that it's yeah. exceptional. Um, I think it it gives us a chance to bring that storybook back, which mm-hmm. just you, I, I can't I can't imagine or work out how no. many storybooks that, that that there are around the wor- around the world yeah. in people's. Houses I know, out right so now many. on the you know on, on the, the side on the side on the mantelpiece or whatever yeah. yeah it's fantastic it's it's crazy but yeah I think the Miri was really special with that and I think how Alan used like the the layers to create the lights in the houses so when you like move the cardstock I remember we did a sh- I did the show with Alan and I'd never seen that before when I'd looked at that cardstock and I'd made loads of cards with that collection um, and then he mentioned it and I was like oh my gosh 
I didn't even realise. There's more to it, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, there's so much more. And Mirror Magic is just, it is a collection like that, isn't it? It's so mm. special and you, you can see so many different things when you look at it from different points of view because of the the layers that you've got in the colour um, and the shine that you get from the mirror. It's, it's really pretty. Well, there'll be Shall more Mirror Magic next year. Yeah, it's fair, definitely. Um, and I do believe Exciting. that there'll be more stitching next year. So mm -hmm. you will be a happy girl as well yeah, next very year. Happy, yeah. That was, one of the, that. that was one of the fun moments this year when there was a lady who thought that, because you have... Oh yes, this is hilarious. You have a Dan. I have a Dan. But it's not this Dan. It's not this Dan, no. <laughs> you have your own Dan. I have my own Dan, but I think because I just say... He's my, home Dan, I yeah, work Dan. When I say my Dan, people, I think people like never knew, but someone commented on one of the videos. It was that when we did a show when we moved into this studio and we did a show together for the first time, someone commented to say, Natalie, is Dan your boyfriend? <laughs> it was the best thing. Because <laughs> this Dan, thing this Dan really is old was. enough to be your father. It's very true. Very, very true. Um, but yeah, too that many Dans. Funny. Too many Dans. Too many Dans. Well, we have three Jennifers here. We do now. We do now. So we will never, ever get Jennifer Kennedy who is uh, our JK, who is our design manager, who manages, uh, manages, who designs, sorry, yeah. lots of our kit, or is in charge of designing lots of our kits. So she's been in charge of Forever Florals. She's in charge of loads and loads of amazing kits that people will have, uh, will have had. Winter Forest was one of hers. Yeah. Winter Forest was Sheila's favourite kit. Bohemian Bliss as well. That's one of hers, yeah. That was really pretty. Now, Jennifer, will ne we'll, we'll never be able to get her on no. Unky Dory TV. She's, we try, but no. We try. She wants to be behind the scenes. Yeah. And that's one of the things here. We've got so many people who are behind the scenes who are really really talented people um, uh, and industrious hard-working people whether it be those who are on the creative side yeah or whether it be those who are, are um, uh, running the machines which again is a very creative thing it's a very talented absolutely job, talented it? yeah um, or if it's the uh, the guys who assemble uh, the cardstock uh, the, the, and collate things and our pickers our packers and, and so on there's a and the, the service team are awesome the service team are really good yeah it's been a great year here it has. Um, I and I think we've made the most of it in a difficult year, which in is brilliant. In a very difficult situation, we've done the best that we can do, and it's it's been fun. It really has. Mm, mm, super. Okay. Well, um, Natalie, we yeah. look forward to next year. I look forward to so crafty chat with Nat is. Crafty uh, chat with yeah, Nat. we'll we'll see what. Well, I'll hand over okay. this this hunky dory H to you, okay. and then you can have a chat with Sheila. Hi, Shields. Hi, How Natalie. Are you? I'm good, thanks. See you. I'm good. Good. Very good. Good. This year has been very fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It's been loads of fun. How it many has. demos do you think you've done this year? If you counted them all up. Oh my goodness. Like all of them. Like oh telly, my goodness. Here. Oh, telly as well. And then because we, we, at the beginning of the year, we were doing uh, demos down at Inspirations as well. Yeah. So, um, uh, do you know what? I, I, I couldn't really say. I have absolutely no idea. I mean, it's above like 70. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how many shows have we done? We've done we've done lots we've done of shows, a lot of we? shows, yeah. So it, I, oh, I would say well into the hundreds, if not more. I think when I I looked it up the other day, I think on TV this year, and this was just since Chris our Christmas launch, we've done a hundred and forty five shows. Really, that's just since Christmas. Whoa! So that's a hundred. Was that, that's was that like crazy. May, June? Yeah, that was like June wow. when we did our big blockbuster. So that's lots of demonstrations. That's a lot. But do you have a favourite? Um, I have. I have a couple of favourites actually. I have a couple that I like um, doing myself. I have a particular favourite. It was one of yours actually that you did probably two, three weeks ago with okay. the um, tea time edit. Oh yeah. Where you made that beautiful, beautiful like that. tea party invitation. Yes. And I you remember stamped, which one. Oh yeah, you stamped the beautiful kind of lace on the background and then you did the teacups and then you did like the invitation itself. And honestly, I remember saying, oh my goodness, I've just kind of drifted off watching it there instead of being alert and reading out the viewers' comments. I was actually <laughs> just mesmerised by it and I totally loved it. Um, it was a very pretty it, collection it though, was, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I it saw it this morning on your desk, yeah, and I was like, that's really pretty. Yeah, it's very fun. I that loved one. that one of yours. What was your favourite demo that you did this year? Um, do you know what? I've, I've trolled back through some of the 
videos and I didn't get as far back as I'd like to. Um, but there were a couple, there was one I really enjoyed using uh, Lilac Dreams. Yeah. Um, which was, it was quite simple, but it, I, I kind of scuffed it up a bit and grunged it up a little bit and it was using that lovely um, topper which had the bicycle on with the basket, like the oh, front of the bike. Oh yes, that was very Which cute. I just decoupage. I don't think he even put a sentiment on, just a bit of ribbon. I love that. But do you remember, a couple of weeks ago, we were showing one of the little books with that lovely vintage oh, yes. feel to it. I remember that car. And it was a bit... That would, was amazing. Yeah, I really, really liked that because I don't do vintage as a rule. I'm very, uh, very like... I don't have vintagey stuff as, you know, like in the house and stuff. I yeah. quite mm, like contemporary, more modern styles of things. Um, and I thought, oh, I don't know if this is going to turn out, but I really liked it in the it end. It was really good. With the twine on one. and the buttons. Yeah, um, and you used I the think new adorable scoreboard, the grungy yeah, one, didn't you? Yeah. It worked so well together. Yeah, I think that one. It was um, really, I yeah. really what, what about you? What did you, I any think stand out for you that you liked? My favourite one that I did was probably on the uh, Christmas Aperture Show. Yes. And yeah. it had that beautiful town scene in. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, but I cut it out and then I used the fence panel and I made it into like a box. Yes, I do remember. I remember that. Very beautiful. It, but it took me forever to colour in. I remember we kept going to and from Dan to, <laughs> to fill in bits because I was just there like colouring away and I, I just love colouring so much that I can be there for absolute hours. Yeah. I can spend I know you like so colouring. long colouring in yeah. here. So yeah, it was funny because I remember when I watched it back to, to have a look at it again. I did, I could, it just kept jumping from like me and Dan, <laughs> Dan talking about other stuff because I was just, just colouring for just so coloring. long. Um, no, but yeah, lovely. I think that was probably one of my favourite ones too. Nice. Also maybe, maybe the Time for Tea box as well. Oh yeah. But then there's, there's been so many, there has been so many, it's, it's hard. Too many to think, isn't it? It is hard to pick out yeah. your favourite one, but I did enjoy that one. Yeah. If we go back to the beginning of the year, I mean, oh, I we've know. had so many launches. I can't honestly remember I can't. like what we did in February because we've done so many products since. You know, you just move you kind on of move, to the don't next you into the next thing, sort of like it? season uh, and what yeah. you're working on. Yeah, definitely. It's really quite. Yeah, it's quite a lot to look back on. Yeah. So that's your favourite card. Yeah. What was your biggest crafty regret this year? So what was one of those demos where you thought? Let's, what? What was I thinking? Or did you have any <laughs> demos that went? hilariously wrong because I definitely did oh there must be lots you know sometimes when we get in here someone's uh it was meant to be doing the the show was as sick or is running late or something yeah. and we have to just jump in so I'm sure some of those have been complete hashes because I've just come in got the products and gone oh my goodness and we've what done we it here? you know <laughs> oh my goodness pretending you've done, you know you've had it planned out for weeks but you haven't so there's probably been quite a few there was one, and again, I did the show with you, and you will remember it, was the one a few weeks ago with the Gilding Flakes. Oh, yeah. Do you remember when I cut a square of double-sided adhesive. Uh, adhesive sheet? Yeah. And stupidly forgot to then layer that onto card before I had to put the Gilding Flakes on. Oh, remember? yes. Uh, yes. Gilding Flakes all over it. You then... pulled it off, and then you tried to like put the whole thing down on a card. <laughs> on a and I was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm confident, I'm confident. And you were going, oh, Sheila, I don't think I can watch. And I was like, I'm confident, I'm confident. And then at the end I stuck it on. I thought, what on earth was I thinking? Why did I not actually stick that on a piece of card? I've never used double-sided adhesive sheets in that way ever in my life. <laughs> I do not know what was going on, but that is the one that I must really forget. This is quite <laughs> funny. I do remember. What about you? I do remember. Oh. <laughs> Mine's hilarious. I think mine was, I can't remember what collection it was, but it was back when we were in the old studio. Yes. And me and Dan was doing the producing at the time. And I tried to do a front stepper. Yeah. But then I also tried to bow some acetate behind. Yes. <laughs> and then I did the whole thing. I stuck it together and, and I couldn't get it to stand up. That's so right. Went, <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. And I was like, no, no, I think it will. And I, I, no, there was no way it was ever going to work. But, you know, in my head, I was like, this will work. Let's yeah. do this. Of Let's course. I threw all remember these it. ideas together. I think I was watching it because I think it was when we first went into lockdown. Yeah, it was. So we I could only have so. one of us in the room. And um, I think you were doing it, like you say, and Dan was producing it. 
and I do remember watching it and thinking, I don't know if that's going to stand up, but it probably will, it probably will. And then in the end you went, it's all right, I'll just cut this off. Cut this off. Cut it off. But I admire your honesty when you're doing demos, because if it does go wrong, you do say, oh, all the time. oh what if I don't know? Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? So I do admire that about you. I think, you know what, rather than try and cover it up and, and risk looking like a fool, you do say, oh, I just look like a fool anyway. What have I done? So, yeah, I do remember that one. But it's no. good that we can on up to those uh, silly mistakes that we've made. I know. But the best thing about it is that we have a bunch of fantastic viewers yes. that never say, they always say such lovely things, don't they? Uh, yeah, Even they do. when we do the mess up. Like, yeah. don't worry, Natalie. Everything's fine. It's fine. You yeah. know, you can, you can turn it into something that's great. And you yeah. can with crafting. Of course you can. Definitely. You definitely can. Definitely. But they are always so lovely to us and to to our demonstrations yeah. and they have such nice things to say about the shows that we do as well yeah very um, supportive and encouraging at all are, times yeah it would and not be the same in. it would not be the same this year without them it wouldn't i was talking about this yesterday at home and saying that you know it's like um I, you know I, i've played in a band for many years and there have been instances when you've gone and you've been all geared up to do a gig and there's been like six people in the audience and it's yeah. very very difficult to only have that small number of people so uh, we are so lucky that we've got hundreds 150 sometimes 200 people watching yeah. at any one time and they stick with us for the whole show even if we run over for like an hour and a half as we very often do they always uh, stay right to the end and they support us and always very complimentary about mm -hmm. about the product and about what we do so it's it's very important that those viewers um tune in every every few days and i know and support us in the it's way they so do it's so lovely mm. it's so so important to us that they're there and it you know it wouldn't be possible though without the people here, no it wouldn't because would we would cause come in and be like oh no there's nobody joining us today oh my no. goodness you know we've only got two people oh my goodness so you know heartfelt thanks to all our viewers that Definitely. do tune in and Definitely. Uh, support us <laughs> um we wouldn't even with those people and with us doing he the demos nothing would be possible without all of the back state the back team that we have oh, here gosh, because no. you know you've got emily who does an amazing job definitely producing these shows definitely just this room in itself is an absolute um well all these cables all these plugs all these cameras <laughs> lights um you know emily's got buttons for everything she knows what's coming up she knows what she tells us what we're going to demo she chooses the product you know it's just um it's like you say the people who are behind the scenes mm -hmm. are the people that probably work, you know, yeah, they do very, so very hard. hard so much to, work to, to yeah, make it definitely. sure that we're here every day. You've got, you know, you've got Ashley and um, Hannah who are yeah. always commenting and yeah. um, replying to everyone's messages because sometimes yeah. we don't have the ability to reply to everyone no, of course um, not. while we're live. And then you've got everyone who brings in all the stuff for us the yeah people in the warehouse who make sure we've got all the product that we need for the show there's so definitely. many people um another really important piece to our l little puzzle is uh the crafters who have been at home this year oh my goodness yeah i mean it's been, it's been so quiet here i know it's so quiet in the office and when you were uh, in here earlier on there was not a sound out there it's like a library or a church it's just so silent and i think we have missed our colleagues tremendously this year, haven't we? Yeah. And, but our our lovely crafting team, our creative team, who are our good friends, like Jane and Barbara. Kat and Barbara and Rachel, who are not in the office with us. Obviously, Anne Marie because she's on Hello. return to leave. Our whole team this suddenly became gone. diminished, wasn't it? And yeah. we were working at home, and and that's really difficult. Um, and I mean, you've been amazing in the fact that you've been able to get parcels out to them every couple of days, so that they've been able to um, yeah. make the product projects sorry from the products and get them all back in on time so we've got things for tally we've got things for in our uh, hunky dory shows here um in the studio so it's you know i think every single person this year in this building and those who are out of the building working at home have pulled together massively to be able to get all our products out that have been planned yeah. you know for at least a year in advance to get them all done all printed all cut all foiled all packaged all sent out to everyone that needs them um it's amazing what it you is. can do in a crisis situation know, how really you well. can you can do it yeah, it has been um 
it has been a very challenging year, but I think yeah. we should all be proud of you know what we've what we've achieved this Definitely. year because it's been fantastic. It, it absolutely has, fantastic. It has um, in in the building here. We've been able to get everything done that we wanted to, and um, our teams have worked, you know, like with so much effort. You know, and, and people have, like, customers have got the orders. Yeah. Even though sometimes it's taken a little bit longer due to um, delays with our uh, dispatches, you know, our dispatch yeah. drivers and our careers. And, you know, it's been a whole knocking effect. But I, I think as well, um, I think because we've worked so efficiently under challenging situation, um, we've been able to encourage a lot of people that might not have crafted to actually have a go yeah and to craft. get into crafting because you know it, there will be a lot of people this year and um, that have done that um when we were talking to dan before he said how important craft has been to a lot of people this year and it will have yeah. been a year where people um wanted to try something new yeah. um and crafting is a great a great thing and a great thing to get started into so definitely it, um, it was really really good yeah i think it's been i think you know We've inspired a lot of people, hopefully, anyway, and we have given them something to focus on that they might not have done yep. pre-coronavirus, nope. you know what I mean? So it's been, uh, you know, stay at home, what are we going to do? Okay, let's watch some craft. I can do this. You know, it's achievable. Yeah. Um, we've been able to bring in some great deals as well. And Fantastic of course, deals. You know, um, encourage people to join us, ask questions. You know, give us their ideas. You know, even send us their their makes, their makes, yeah. um, so we can put those on our blog. And so it's it's all kind of gone in a different direction, but it's been a positive direction. Definitely, definitely, it has been um, one incredible year, and we are immensely happy and proud of everything that we've done. And we hope that you have had um, an amazing time watching. Um, what we've done this year. Well, that's a wrap for 2020. Thank you so much for all your support during this year. We very much look forward to um, what we're going to bring in 2021 and we can't wait to bring you along for the ride.